So the, the functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. And we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimension, same weight. Yeah. The part of this is it, it, it's a fundamental design change. Uh, we removed the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally, the way that a truck is designed, you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed, the, when they had biplanes, basically. The, the key to creating effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You, you move the stress to the outside skin. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of thick, ultra hard stainless steel. Really hard. I'm going to show you just how hard. So, front, front has a sledgehammer. And, and don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. It's a regular truck door. Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit it a couple times. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Nice. Now I have to stop your truck. Same thing. Hit it, ho hit it harder. Wind, like, really wind up. Nail it. Yeah. Pretty then, strong. Yeah, very strong. <laughs> so if you think about it, like a truck, you want some, you want a truck that's tough. You want a truck that's really tough, not big tough. You want a truck that can take a sledgehammer too. A truck that won't scratch, doesn't bend. What else can we do with this truck? What if we, what if we shot it? Let's, let's, let's shoot it. Got it. OSHA. OSHA, come on. <laughs> so the, this, that's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. <laughs> We're in California, unfortunately. But the 9mm, it's, it, is, it is literally bulletproof to a 9mm uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. So it's, it's, it's ultra hard, cold rolled uh, stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're going to be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. Yeah, you're welcome. So on the, on the right, that's like no, no more truck doors, like, might as well be made of tissue paper. That, 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 that looks like a paintball. Very different. So, you know, when you say something's both tough, that's what we mean. <laughs> what, what about the glass? Seems like a vulnerability. Yeah. Tra tra transparent metal glass. Yeah. Right, so let's, let's, let's show some of the tests. Let's, uh, what can we do with this? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's show the glass demo. There you go. So first, first, first this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. We want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately. 
for the little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Nothing. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's kind of a small ball though. It's, it's maybe like do it at a bigger height. With a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little slow down. Yeah, not bad. That bigger bowl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! Bronx, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh, my fucking god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. It didn't go through. So that was, that was a plus side. Let's try that, right? Okay. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not bad. Room for improvement. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So yeah. Uh, we, we did actually throw everything. We threw wrenches. Uh, we threw everything. We even literally threw the kitchen sink at the at the, at the glass, and it didn't break. For some weird reason it broke. Now I don't know why. <laughs> you know, fix it in post. <laughs> so, in addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built. Yeah, adaptive air suspension. So this will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element. Um, because if you have a, a if, if, if every if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway, and you can you can also go off roading. Um, it's going to have a, the highest clearance of any any production truck, so we're going to have a, a, a 16 inch clearance, um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride ride height. These these are actually extremely important for a truck because trucks when you can only drive them they're either too cushy or they're they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the, in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly. So, yeah. Um, let's talk, talk about the, uh, we call it the vault. Cyber truck vault. So, let's see. This is, I should just demo this active, but yeah. So. The rear is 100 cubic feet. Six and a half foot uh, length, bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload. Yeah. And it can tow. What about a real world, real world test? Like, let's let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F-150. Six feet. You know, we can see which one can pull which. Let's let's uh, let's do the tug of war video. I mean, yeah, but it was uphill. On road performance. <laughs> now, let's see, the, how does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? Okay, we're going to give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. This is a this is a current current edition Porsche. 
That is, and this is the actual track. That is not CGI. <laughs> In terms of off-road performance, it's going to have the best uh, angular approach angle, best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that really like, go off-road, this is going to be great. You can basically do the Baja Rally and this thing. We have three ranges. So, yeah. So obviously they'll have access to all the superchargers, uh, being capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So you don't need a generator. This truck literally is your generator. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a jam. Yeah. The onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So there's so only three versions. And but it's gonna. That, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Um, so your maintenance is low, your cost of operations is low, um, and so it's actually uh, comparable to a uh, truck, a uh, gasoline truck that's ten to fifteen thousand dollars less. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. So you can order now if you would like. Tesla.com slash Cybertruck. <laughs> Oh, 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 I should say also, we're going to be offering rides in this all night. <laughs> yeah, don't mind the glass. So, anyway, th thank you guys for coming. Bye. And, uh, I think it's going to be a great, great party, and you'll love riding around this thing. It's great. All right, thank you. Oh, wait. We have, uh, We do the oh, 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 this, oh yeah. So we, we made an we also made an ATV. So now bring it out. This is what I mean by the adaptive air suspension. Yeah, nice work, by the way. Um, so, the adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low, and you go high on the other side, we call this load mode. So you got a load mode, you got a built-in ramp, you can take an ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want, and load it on the back. Yes. Oh, okay. And it's, 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 cur it's, it's currently plugged in and charging. Yeah. Feel like the car is adjusting itself. So you go like real tight on the freeway, and you can go way high off-roading. Yeah. All right. Thanks.